Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to continue on my journey in Subnautica. And before I get into it too much, I just want to say I've got the best subscribers, man. Like, you guys are so helpful. Well, I was reading through all the advice I got given. There's some good stuff in there. So if you're new to this game and want to try it out, definitely give it a look. I actually forgot to get the blueprints out of the life pods, which is slightly inconvenient. Even missed fragments while I was here. Okay, so I don't know where to go to get this thing. Data box. How did I miss that? Jesus Christ. I must be blind as a bat. Oh well. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Thank you very much for pointing that one out. Ah, uh, the next one uh, that I can remember. Tips are going to be all over the place. Apparently you can make a heated knife. Oh, I'm looking forward to checking that out. When you hit fish, apparently it cooks them instantly. So that will be really handy for when I'm desperate. And I've got to remember my oxygen. I haven't been playing since I last did the video. So, got to get back into habits. I guess that moves on to the next point, is that I shouldn't be playing on hardcore mode. I had a good think about that, and I think that is a very good tip, because if they had a hardcore mode in the forest, which they do, the I think it's called Iron Forest or some crap, I wouldn't play it because the game is filled with bugs, and the game's due to be released very soon. So it's like, well this game's just come out of Alpha or Beta, do I really want to take the risk? And that's only when it comes to bugs. So another tip I got is that the game gets very hard later on. And I really need to take that into consideration. So I've been playing, I think the first one I did, I played for about three hours and it felt really easy. Well, yeah, it's like the forest, it's fairly easy when you're dealing with cannibals. But once you start dealing with mutants, it becomes a different story. Anyway, I think I got this one. Did I? There's nothing there. So I'm going to finish this episode on Hardcore. And I did some research and apparently you can change the difficulty mode. Which I think might be a good idea. So I'll just whack it back to um, whatever the other one is, whatever it's called. Survival? It's just it's a shame that there's no harder mode. There's only like easy, it's like super easy. And then it's normal mode, then it's hardcore. Well, that's what I think, anyway. It's one of these fish that almost got me freaking killed. Anyway, back to the boat. I also found out that if your breathe meter gets to zero, you die. It's, it's not like you take damage or drown. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I think I got the uh, things I needed to. Compass. Wiring kit. Uh, someone said, it's a really good tip, uh, make sure you make a building tool as soon as you can. So I need a computer chip and a battery. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, mushrooms, man. So many mushrooms. Okay, I've got it. I'll eat first and then I'll go out. Yeah, that's what I wanted to know is that if console commands, are they safe to use? Because I just want to use one to change the difficulty uh, to make it normal, whatever it's called. I think that might be a good idea. Also got told, don't keep picking up scrap metal. That's a really good point. I can't imagine it's going to despawn if I not do anything. I've got to get a build habitat tool. I think that's crucial. And I'll play this message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease. Send an SO anyway, that just dragged on. I'm probably not going to add that to it. He's speaking like two words per minute. Similar to me. <laughs> All right, uh, what do we got? I need the mushrooms. I need to build, yes. I need a habitat builder to start building for storage purposes. Building these locker things, they're not good. You can't do anything with them after they're finished. Well, you can't put them inside your base or whatever the whole thing is. That's pretty useless. So I need to make a computer chip. A table coral sample. I think I know what that is. Copper wire in the meantime. So table coral, I think it's that stuff. I can't even remember how much I need. There's only 
2 or something. Oh, another one is I've got to scan everything. Scan absolutely everything. It could be a blueprint hidden anywhere. Um, and now I can make the build habitat tool. So that is... I can make another one of them. Advanced wiring kit. Ah. Sounds sophisticated. Habitat builder. And someone said don't build in the start the area. Tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Apparently there's not much good around here. So I've got enough to start building, I think. Yeah, and there was another one, there was a big one. Um don't make titanium ingots. I think that comes with the don't uh, collect the scrap metal too much because otherwise you're going to fill your inventory and you're going to go, oh, I might as well use that. But apparently you only need about 15 of these things. Keep in mind I'm quoting from memory and a bunch of comments. That was fairly consistent. Everyone seemed to be on the same page. I don't think I read anything that was contradictory. Did I say that word right? This is the same problem I had last time. I forgot to get the blueprint for this and I don't know where it is. I have a feeling I've forgotten it somewhere. Okay, so I've got another message. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. I think I'm going to make a compass. I don't know if I should be making some cobble wires just to spare it. It's just to save some room. Okay, I found this little cave and it's got some goodies in it. Where was down here? I found some nodes. But I'm a bit worried because I've never been in a cave like this. I don't even know if that's hostile. I've got no idea. Ah, oh, I missed the bubbles. Sound like that fish off finding email. Oh, the bubbles, the bubbles, the bubbles. Ah, what do we got? This is cool stuff just hidden away. I keep missing the bubbles. I'm wasting time down here anyway. Ooh. Found a place with heaps of debris. What else is here? Okay, just unlocked beacon. I think that's the one that's used for tracking locations later on. Those floaty things, you take the little jellyfish off the side of them, they float to the top. Or sink. Yeah, they sink. That's right. Feels like my thing's moved. Another message. Scan this big thing. Jeez, hurry up, scan. Apparently you can collect those little gas pods when they drop them from their butt. From the ass. Show me those titties. Well, slightly inappropriate. Gotta start scanning everything. Really do. I made a mistake of putting music in my playthrough, the last one. I forget that this game actually has music in it. <laughs> the forest doesn't have anything. So I'm probably gonna leave it, but it might sound a bit hollow. I don't know. And apparently hitting things with your weapon doesn't damage it. So that is good to know. Uh, starting to think nighttime doesn't last as long as daytime, but still noticeable. Come on, Gary Fish. I'm trying to think where Gary Fish is from. I, it's got to be from somewhere. Now I got told I should hoard salt. Right, I'm going to use some up for emergency food meat. Drying the food. It's like the forest you drive the fish, it won't go off. He's trying to attack me. Little shit. <laughs> attack me and I'll scan you. Okay, I found something. Looks like a big part of the ship. I'd assume I'll be getting a lot of no, Jesus. Those fish are so weird, man. God, that scared me. I was thinking if they weren't so angry, they'd be able to swim a lot better. But he's gonna mess me up. I don't know where he is. I can hear him. 
I don't mind these big fish, but I just don't like that. I, <laughs> I don't like when I can't see where they are. They could sneak up on me. I don't know what noises they make. Come on. I don't know what's here. Okay. Bioreactors. Heaps of salvage around here. God, the noises. The sound effects in this game are just... Uh, they're up there. It's a shame that they sucked the sound guy from this game. Ideological differences, I guess. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. I wonder what that bacteria stuff means. That's um, it's a little bit concerning. I, I'm assuming there's a way to get rid of it. I don't know how it happens though. There's heaps of blueprints around here. Scanner room. Integrating new PDA data. I wonder if the bacteria has got to do with uh, going too deep in the water. I'd say that's what it's got to do with. Seamoth. I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm guessing it's a boat. Can I go up in here? Um, I probably can. I don't know. I'll get out of here. Why is it warning me for oxygen? Apparently it's not supposed to in this hardcore mode. Or maybe I misread it. Maybe it's just telling me that I'm about to die. Man, oh, there's heaps. God, I'm so slow without this thing. Scanner room fragment. I have a feeling I'm missing something in this big ship. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Need to figure out what that does. Probably can't be good for my health. New blueprint acquired. This red kelp stuff's making it hard to see what I'm looking at. And I'm pretty sure these big fish... Those psycho ones hang out in here. And they could spring out. Those things. Oh, there's two. How did I... How did I spend so much time here and they never even seen me? That's really weird. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, repulsion cannon. Oh, repulsion cannon. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. And I'll come back. God, I can't believe I nearly left without going in here. It's just really tucked away. How do I get back in? Uh, that, is that it? Yeah, this is it. There's heaps of stuff here. Uh oh. Please don't find me. There's heaps of awesome stuff here. This place is awesome. Oh, PDA. Whoa. How did I not see that? That looks like it could kill me very quickly. Doesn't look like I can do anything to it. I just stay away, eh? What's that? Something's triggered. Oh, there. Oh, that was a good find. I don't think this is the safe shallows. I'm pretty sure my inventory is maxed. Yeah, pretty much. And low on oxygen. And, and get that sorted. So I'm about half a kilometer away from my little home. Ah, he's chasing me. Oh, wow, he's really close. He didn't chase me far. That was pretty scary, eh? It's like one of these things, like, in real life, if you've ever been chased by a dog, apparently you shouldn't look behind because it slows you down. If you're being chased by anything, for that matter, you don't want anything to slow you down. It's like that. If I turn around, I'm pretty sure this goes a lot slower backwards than it does go forwards. I don't want to mess that up. Back to the boat. Still no radio thing. I've got no idea what's going on. Ah, I can make this. Just need another wiring kit. Did I use the last one? I'll just make another one. Uh, where 
is it? Warps gravity to pull and push objects. Okay. Have to test out that one, see how that goes. Rebreather. That sounds like something I might need. Plate steel ingot. Okay, so that's new. Yeah, I'm going to have to find somewhere to build quick because I'm running out of space and I'm just wasting materials building these things. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to build. I don't know where to build. And I think you need a multi-purpose room. And i got no idea. Maybe you should build near an island. Oh, I have no idea where that is. I think I'm going to make this mobile vehicle bay. That looks like a good idea. Need my lubricants. Silicon rubber, silicon rubber, silicon rubber. Okay, motor vehicle bay. It looks really big. I think where you place it, you can't move it. <laughs> so, it wasn't that expensive to build, so. Maybe I should just place it here. Stuff it. Okay, let's see what we can build. Okay, titanium ingot, glass, lead, power cell. That's doable, very doable. Here we go. We've got everything to make this. So what do they do? God, they build it quick. What do you do? Welcome aboard, Captain. God. This is cool. Oh. What I hit? You can run into stuff and it messes the thing up. God, I need to be careful on this. Uh, repair tool? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get out. <laughs> so, repair. Well, that's easy. I got a message. Uh, stop leaving me voicemails. Leave me a text message. Okay, so it's the dry land one. Uh, well, it's not really dry land, man. But we get what I mean. I forgot to repair something. Secondary repair system. How did I forget that? God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I've done. It's a lot more noisy in here. Okay, I'm going to try out this thing. See how quick it is. Why can't I... Things run into you. Clearly some people don't know how to respect other people's nice things. What's it got? Oh, it's a little flashlight. 200 years from now, they will still have headlights on their cars. This thing's pretty quick. It needs rocket launchers or something. I will admit that the noise this thing emits is quite annoying. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Holy crap. Why is it so deep? Shit, I'm scared, eh? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen God, I better be quick. Got the PDA. Oh, God. What's in here? Holy crap. It's not wrong about the oxygen. Holy crap, that was really scary. Ooh, maybe I should turn this hardcore mode off because I think I'm getting a little bit too deep into the... Oh shit, my heart is racing. Oh, yo. Oh, what's here? Maybe I should build that, um, 
Rebreather, deep rebreathing thing. Ah, oh, what is here? It takes forever to scan. Why can't I scan that? It looks important. I think I've been here before. I came here in my last playthrough. Ah, oh, just maybe it's just more scary that um, I'm playing on hardcore. This is intense. I know if I die, that's it. I need to sort that out though. Ah. <sighs> So I'm just going to raid this place and then get out of here because I don't know where I am. I don't know what's around here. And I have a feeling I'm getting myself into something I can't get myself out of. What's a moon pool? Sounds funky. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Taking hull damage on the ship. Need to be careful. Uh, the hull can't take it, whereas I can. I don't know what story is of that. So yeah, another thing is that I won't be building next to the geyser, because apparently the... Oh. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh shit. I don't think I can repair that either. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> oh no, I can't stop laughing. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh, there goes. <laughs> Oh, I've lost it. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't even remember how much that thing cost me. It probably wasn't cheap. Oh, shit. My cheeks are hurting. Oh, friggin' hell. Ah, oh, I've laughed this hard in a while. Okay, so here's dry land. I think this might be a good spot to build. Not much underneath it. Ah, oh, well that's enough of a one episode. Uh, this stupid boat. <laughs> it's my fault though. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, if you got any other tips for me, let me know in the comments. I think I addressed all the ones that I got. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss any. I need to find that multi-purpose room. This is the one I need, otherwise I think I'm wasting my time a bit. And I'm going to find a place to build for the next episode too. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know, because that'll be cool. Because I got no idea. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.